It's your girl, Miss Faye. We're hanging out at Silver Slate Studio. This is Next Up TV, and I'm catching up with Jay Verna. <laughs> How you doing? I'm all right. I've known you for a long time, and I yeah, remember way back in the days, there was a video. I mean, you went to the beach, and you did, like, a freestyle battle against this guy. Uh -huh. And, like, since then, I've been trying to find this video on YouTube, but I never got a chance to talk to you about it. Like, that moment when you won the battle, mm -hmm. how did you feel, and do you still do freestyle battles? No, nah, I mean, I still freestyle. Mm -hmm. Like, I watch a lot of people freestyling. But um, <laughs> that was the start of everything, though. That was really the start. of. That's what really put me on in the crib, that freestyle battle, because it was like a senior skip day, mm -hmm. all the schools were on the beach. And that's what really, like, helped me, like, you know, brand my name as a start. And it was MySpace at the time, so everybody was commenting Throwback. about it. Yeah. So I, it really helped. It really gave me a boost in, you know, our community of music. So, I mean, that's what started everything and, you know, Tell them to upload the video again so they can see me watching. Yeah, because I've been trying to find it. It's gone. Maybe sometimes when you get a little embarrassed, you want to delete stuff. So maybe that's the case. But we're yeah. going to move on. <laughs> we're good friends now. We're good friends now. But I still watched you. How would you describe your sound now and what it was before? It's real mature now. Um, my sound is like, it's, it's really melodic. Back then, I was like really for bars. Like, it was just like rap, 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 rap. I'm finna kill you on this verse type shit. Yeah. And now it's more so like let's create a, a, a let's create a record. Like let's 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 do it down to a science. Let's let's get it to where it's like I'm big on playback value. Like it has to be played over and over. Like so that's my thing now. Artists in Miami and sometimes Broward are being blackballed or not being being able to step out of Miami. Why do you think that is? Um, once you get stuck in the box, you, you'll remain in that box. And once you, like, obtain that thought process of, like, I'm not getting no love at the crib, so I'm not getting no love anywhere, you're just going to get stuck in that lane. Like, there's a lot of people that don't, they don't get no love at the crib, but once they hit the road, and it's like a whole other world. So it's definitely just not getting caught in the box. Yeah. And you've been doing music for a very long time. Like, mm -hmm. tell people how much work you have to really put in when it comes to being an artist. It's a lot. We, I, we've, I've, it's been the places of like, you know, driving the sessions across the world, not having no gas in the whip, or, you know, standing in the rain, putting up your own posters, or... Or remember that time when your car broke down and the bill came... Oh, jeez. Oh. That is a real story. <laughs> it was the one time that I was picking up Faye. We were recording at my mom's crib. Mm -hmm. This is probably like six, seven years ago. Long time I mean, ago. This longer than that. It's yeah. about like 10 years ago. Yeah. And I had this 85 Supra that my dad gave me, and I was fixing it up. It was a fixer-upper. And the wheel fell off after I changed the tires because I didn't put the bolts on the right <laughs> <laughs> And we were riding back to my mom's crib to record, and the wheel fell off right by my mom's crib just to make some music. So sometimes you have to go through things to really get that hit, right? It was your fault. <laughs> Definitely your fault. Nah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I've just the sacrifice is real. If you don't sacrifice and if you continue to stay comfortable, you're never going to receive your next enhancement of life. So, what can we expect from you now? You're back. We're here. We're in the studio, Service Late Studio. What can we expect from you? When is the album dropping? When is a mixtape coming out? Music videos? What's next? I'm looking to drop an EP September. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna um, probably drop another tape. Um, just just look for consistent music, how I how I was once before, and um, just look for consistent music, great music, and some fire shit to come. We're a little bit older now, and I know you have a baby. How do you juggle being in a situation, having a child, and also do music? I'm not in a situation. Oh, you're single. Yeah, very single, 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 single as hell. But um, no, nah, I love my baby. She's like that's my pride and joy. That's like oh man. I'd give it all up for my daughter. So do you do it for her? Definitely do it for her. It's like my legacy. Like, you know, she's not going she's not going to pay for school. She's not going to have to worry about anything as she comes an adult. Make sure, you know, I hustle so that she doesn't end up, you know, in places that she doesn't need to be. Okay. I know um leaving, going to Atlanta and coming back. Do you feel like artists that are already here in Broward will feel a type of way that you're trying to take on what they already developed while you were gone? No, not really because I've always been ahead of the I've been always, I've always been ahead of the 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 game with that as mm -hmm. far as like Broward artists. Like I was one of the first artists on that Piff. I was one of the first artists to bring hot new hip hop down here. I was one of the first artists about the whole internet thing like 
I was one of the first artists down here to hit a million streams. Like, so I've always been ahead of the game when it came to grinding. So now it's just pretty much reinventing that and creating a new outlet and just, you know, doing what I do. Like, I'm not really worried about anybody else. I'm still in my own lane, but, mm -hmm. you know. Your music. Mm -hmm. I know you've been working on a lot of projects, and since you came back, you've been in the studio. So what should we be expecting soon? I got a crazy ass record with royalty statements called Drives Me Crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. Um, I have a project with L.A. Reese and Aaron Reed that um, we're getting ready for that to, with, you know. So I got a couple of records. I got like 40 records with um, one of my mentors, Sock Passe. So we just getting ready to start releasing some some shit, and you know, getting back in that frame, getting back on them charts, you know, killing their ass in these streams. So just getting ready to get to get back to that. Would you say your sound and your music has something to do with the Caribbean, or is it more hip hop? Hell yeah, that's where the rhythm comes from. Mm -hmm. This rhythm don't come from nowhere else. Like I'm, I'm from my parents are from the island, so it definitely helps me with the bounce. Like I have to have a record with a bounce, just based off of you know, growing up off of that compa and making sure that it had that juice. So yeah, definitely. Tell everybody where they can find you or follow you and to hear more music. J A Y B U R N A dot com. All my social media is J A Y B U R N A, and you know J Burner TV. Everything is J Burner. You can just you know, I don't want to sound gaudy or nothing, but you can Google it, see everything. 